Alright, so this is going to be the tutorial for um, cutting out your portraits and uh, using that portrait to basically put it into um, another photograph. So, uh, what I've noticed uh, in the uh, previous classes when we've taken photos in the room, um, I've noticed um, several of you uh, like using a white background or just a, um, a colored background for your photo and then you did like the picture of your portrait. So. <coughs> Um, you know, since some of you have done this already and, you know, you may want to use this option for the third day that we do take photos uh, back in the room. Um, but it's basically photos that look like this where uh, you had like a white background <coughs> and then you had like the, um, the portrait photo. So there is a way where you can actually um, easily cut out the image that you're using and you can kind of place that image into like um, another photo. So. Uh, but, you know, the real important thing is, you know, um, whatever you use for, like, the white part of your background, uh, you want to make sure, like, the edges of the portrait, like, of her, her hair, the shoulder, um, this part here, uh, you want to make sure you have, like, the white background for all of that part. It's, it's still going to be, like, part of the classroom on the edges, um, you know, it, it won't affect it. Um, this might cut out perfectly, but, you know, like, something like this is a little bit better where all of it's the white background. It's going to cut it really easily in Photoshop. So... <coughs> Um, the way we're going to do that is uh, you're going to just click and drag your um, picture into Photoshop. And you click and drag into Photoshop. And then the way we're going to the way we're going to do that is you're going to um, use the uh, quick selection tool. So you're going to use the quick selection tool. It's like this. It's right below the lasso tool. Um, I apologize. My uh, computer is looking kind of glitchy, but it's, it's still going to work. So, I mean, my, my icon's not showing, but basically what's going to happen with the quick selection tool is you're going to click and choose those areas of the portrait, and it should automatically just pick up these... Um, uh, the colors. And you want to just like try to get as much as you can of the picture, the, her hair, the body, the shoulder. <coughs> uh, but basically the way it's picking up these, um, the, uh, I'm going to zoom in a little closer. Now the way that it's, it's picking out the, um, it's selecting these areas is, um, it's, it's just showing like a, an extreme contrast in the, um, the colors and values. So, you know, it's like, it's very dark on her hair, the clothes. So it's really easy to pick it up um, compared to the, um, you know, the white paper in the background. So, you know, if any of you have like a white shirt or like platinum blonde hair, you may not want to use like a, a white background. You may want to use a black background just so you have like that nice contrast with the colors and the, um, the values. Uh, but, you know, it, this, this actually selected pretty, um, pretty well. So all you're going to do is after you selected the picture. And, um, you know, when it comes to, like, the hair, it's okay if, like, some strands of the hair just don't get selected. Just you want to get, like, the general shape of the hair. Um, then you can click on Refined Edge. And then when you click on Refined Edge, basically all those areas that are pink and red, they're going to um, be the areas that are going to be cut out in the picture. Uh, but, you know, you can... Um, if you don't have that though, you can always change the view. Just make sure to click on one that says overlay. That's probably the easiest one to see. And you can you can leave these alone pretty much. Just make sure your output is um, under new layer with layer mask. If you have it under like new layer or these other ones, it's not gonna work as well. <coughs> and um, the last thing you do too is um, so like if you look at my mouse, it's like an arrow key, but it's gonna show like this um, brush um, on your computers. And basically, I'm just gonna go over the the brush on the edges and it's gonna have to like kind of clean up those edges a little bit more and you mainly want to do this for like um, uh, the parts of the hair because when it cuts it out it's not gonna cut it out perfectly I'm actually gonna make the brush a little bit bigger again I, I wish you guys could see the brushes a little bit I mean you can kind of see like on the edges so I'm not gonna make it bigger so if you have like a really big photo you might need to make the brush a lot bigger uh, you know, if, you, if I click and hold you can see like where the brush is if you look at those, it's really cleaning up those edges a little bit more, especially like these little parts here. Uh, you know, you really want to, you know, clean up those edges a lot more. And again, you only mainly need to do it to like the hair. The like the body's fine. I, I wouldn't touch that. 
I'm just gonna go over these strands of the hair again. So now, um, yeah, I, I've gone over the edges around the hair, and I'm just gonna um, uh, click OK. And then when I click OK, it's going to make a completely new layer, and it's gonna create like a layer mask of like, it's basically like a cutout of the image. Um, you know, we didn't really go over too much with the layer mask, but uh, you know, next project we're gonna go over that a little bit more in detail. But now I have my image, you know, cut out the way that I want it. So, and then from here you can just um, go to um, you know Google Chrome, and then you know if you want to, you can use like some of your own photos. Or um, I'm okay if you guys want to use like pictures off the internet. That's fine too. But let me show you gonna search for pictures on the internet. Yeah, you know, let's just say I want to do like a landscape for the background. I can just type in landscape. Like, you know, you might have like other things in mind that you want to use. And I'm going to click on image. All right, now when you're searching for images on the internet, um, you know, you just be, you just want to be really weary of, um, uh, you know, using other people's photos, and um, you know, making sure like uh, you don't have any like copyright issues and um, you know those uh, permissions. Um, you know, to use the photos. So what I would do is I would go under, um, uh, click on tools, uh, click on usage rights. So, you know, there's ones, there's some photos where it's like non-commercial use or, um, you know, reuse with uh, modification. So, um, I would click on the one that says um, labeled for um, Reuse basically is non-commercial reuses. Um, uh, you know, if you were to um, you know sell the photo for money, um, then you would have to um, you know like uh, you know like pay money to like the person that got the from the photo. But you know, it's just a bunch of um, you know legal issue things. Um, if you were to like sell the picture or you enter the, the picture in no contest. Uh, but just to, just to keep it short, though, um, you know, this is just like mainly for practice. But um, you do want to pay credit though to the people that you use photos. So I would just look on this one that says label for reuse with, um, yeah, label for reuse, and it'll kind of like narrow down the search a little bit more. And you know, you can just click on the picture that you want to use for the background. So you know, I, I've used this picture before, but I'll, I'll use it again. So, so you know, I'm just gonna save this on my. And again, I'm just gonna click on my desktop to just do it real quickly. And then you can click it over here in your um, picture that you're working on. And you know, you wanna make sure to find like a high res image. This, this one might be too small, but I'm gonna try it out. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. And again, it's gonna be like overwhelming my picture here. So I'll double click it to resize it. And then, um, you know, just make sure your um, the background is. Uh, you want to move it on the bottom layer. So, like the way the layers works, just in a, like a nutshell, is um, you know the things that are on the bottom is going to be like in the back of the picture, and then the things that are on the top is going to be more close to the picture. And I'm going to use use the crop tool, and I'm just going to make that picture a little bit bigger so you can see more of that photo. So, you know, that's a really easy way to like combine two pictures together. Uh, just be careful. You see like this white line here. Some of you may have like a white line after you've cropped the picture just because um, the edges, it's not clean. So you would click on the um, the white and black box. This is like the, your layer mask. And I would just, um, you know, change your opacity to 100. You can just color that black to get rid of that line. So if you have like that issue of that line, you can just use that to clean it up. And I mean, that's pretty much it though. <laughs>